Welcome to a video from digitallifestyle.com. I've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 19619 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And there's not a huge amount to show you in terms of Windows 10 changes. There's a couple of things I want to show you. But the first thing I want to highlight is something new for Windows Insiders. Not necessarily tied to the build, but you have to be on the fast ring, I think, to get this working. Is the new um, audio playback controls in the Your Phone app. So this is the Your Phone app linked up to my Android phone, this is Android only. And what I can do now is I can actually, uh, I'm actually listening to this podcast, this is my podcast, on my Android phone currently, and I can resume playback, I can skip to the next track, or I can go previous track on there through your phone. So you see here, um, I've got this option, show audio currently playing on the phone. You can hear some my podcast going through there. So I've turned that on and now but on the Android phone, I can pause the playback, I can skip it. So if you listen to Spotify, listen to music, you want to get onto the next track, you don't have to get your phone out to skip it, you can just use your, your phone, which I think is a really good idea actually, because that's the idea of your phone, is you get all your notifications, your messages, your photos, you can make calls all through this app, so you leave your phone away in your pocket. So that's something that's new for Windows Insiders. The rest of the changes are all fairly minor. We've got... Um, setting change in time in the date time here there's a, a sit the sync now button which has been there for a while but it'll also tell you give you an error code if it doesn't work as opposed to just doing nothing as it did before the rest of the changes are all fairly minor there's a, a fix for a dpc watchdog violation which was uh, causing green screens crashes uh, there's some language fixes, um, some system login, they fix something with the international control panel, the currency settings on the old style control panel, and they fixed a, a storage exe crash uh, when you were running some diagnostics. There's still an issue with the battery level indicator on the lock screen, uh, documents and download section, privacy shows a broken icon. Uh, these are uh, some old ones, these hanging in. Um, when installing new builds. I haven't seen that myself. I try it on a few machines now. And uh, IIS issue. And if you're using Linux subsystem of Windows and you can click the file integration button in File Explorer, that could uh, crash your system and it does crash. But they said they've got a fix for that coming soon. So that's the underlying change for Windows 10. There's not a huge amount in there. But I do like this. It's good to see that on there. I did have a couple of issues getting it working. One of my devices, even though it's on the fast ring, didn't even have this option there at all. So you may have to, you may not see that. Depends. I think Microsoft are rolling that all over time. So that's the changes for this build of of Windows 10. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com at iStixon on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like our stuff.